guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you to introduce you to my new uh, Centex clutch tool. Uh, like right now, I can't find these things anywhere on the internet. They're all sold out. Let me show you real fast. So right now, everywhere you look, they're out of stock or aiming. Um, but you can't even find these things anywhere. So here's another one uh, out of stock. So all right. Let so me go back here. So yeah, I decided to print this thing out uh, or design it. This is Fusion 360 if you're not familiar with that. Um, it's a pretty cool modeling tool. Um, pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna print this out and my thought and idea what here was to actually use some thumbtacks to connect to the, uh, the adjuster nut. And that's what those are for. I'll, I'll show you that when I'm done printing this out. And uh, there will be like a like a slip ring on top of this, and that's actually going to keep the uh, thumbtacks from pulling out. All right, as you can see in the hole right there. Yeah, so if you've been watching my channel, this is where I do all my my 3D printing, like my uh, my ball screw blocks, all that stuff. Um, all right, so it should be printed out. I have this uh, loaded in the Cura, and I'm going to be sending it over there. And on my old printer bot, and we're printing this out. And it is. Uh, I'm using 25% infill. Yeah, it just always amazes me. You can actually design something and just print it out right on the spot. And here it is. And this actually is a Sentac Clutch, if you're not familiar with it. It's this little screw right here. This will make more sense. Why the, why the nails go through there, there's little tacks I gotta cut through, cut out here. So the concept is I'm gonna cut some tacks out to be able to grip onto those little tabs right there, two tabs. All right, so I'm gonna cut these down, and uh, and this is the slip ring that's gonna keep it in place, I can glue it in place, or maybe just keep it on there if I want to, or put some stickiness on there, who knows, but. All right, so I cut down the uh, little tack here, a little small nail, and it push in like that. Let me get the other side in, and I'll show you what's up. Alright, so I used the retainer ring to keep those from popping out right there. I'm going to slip that on like that. There you go. Put that like that. And there you go. Alright, so now I got to crank this thing down on my clutch. Yeah, just keep getting... Uh, you got to make sure you don't cross there either. Getting it started is kind of a headache. Right. Lost my coming out here. Alright. Alright, so I got it on there now. See that? So I can just twist it. Awesome. Like that. Alright, cool. Now I got a little adjuster tool now. Yeah, so just you know, if you have a 3D printer, put a link down below, Thingiverse. Um, the tags I used, put a link down below where you can get this on Amazon too, but I use it, uh, uh, this is the brand. Just, just had a bunch of assorted different uh, Brad Nails tags. Uh, that's a part of them right there. But, alright guys, oh, Hillman. Alright, cool. Awesome.